The reason I do these videos is to show you there's more than one way to skin a cat and for some people they don't have access to shipping in their country or they just like to do things cheap. I don't know. But these motorized bikes are just fun to experiment on. Look at this spark plug. It's working great but that's not the case. This is the JB Welded spark plug. The miniature champion. And the one I just put in it was an old two-stroke 250 dirt bike CR250 spark plug so that's I had two of them I just found them yesterday this one had a smashed head the diodes touching but anyhow I cross threaded it in there this this just stripped out and blew out so this failed the heat made it fail the JB Weld did a good job it stayed form fitted but there was pressure getting through that's why it's white right there it's running good. The spark plug looks real good if you look at the, the burn on it. But uh, it popped out and I was just about to go on the internet and order a cheap Chinese high compression head with the head gasket and the carb and the boost bottle. It's like 50 bucks. I was going to order it. And then I just remembered I had these spark plugs from yesterday. I was just cleaning out something and I was, I, I was going to throw them away because I don't have that bike anymore. And I said, let me just, I'm going to throw, the, the head was trash anyways. It's totally stripped out. The spark plug popped out. I said, let me try threading that in there. But it takes some common sense. I even used an American piece of crap wrench. You don't need everything to be perfect. And uh, I put it around there. And as I was threading it slowly, I was putting as much pressure. I had a, a gloves and a rag pushing down on it. And you could even do the same thing with a socket if you had it. But. I don't even have it or I can't locate it. Oh, I have the half inch one and I don't have a half inch ratchet for some reason, which is insane anyways to have a half inch 13 16 ratchet. I don't know why I have it. But uh, yeah, I just used a random wrench and pushed it down. So if you had a socket, you could thread that spark plug in there. I just did it. I just rode it for about 10 or 15 minutes. It actually runs better than it did before. And this one, look at the difference in the head length. Okay, and the, the original one I was running is shorter than stock, so it gives you less compression. This is obviously longer than stock, about, you know, 30% longer than a stock one. So I threaded it in as far as I could. That's when it started to get really tight, and I didn't want to cross-thread it. It seems to have a good compression on it, and let me get this to There you go. Yeah, it's it's far in there. If you look at that compared to this. But it's not far as stock. So I'm still getting less compression. And I'm sure there's some sort of leak. Because there's no compression. but Or the compression fitting is not compressed. But the thing starts right up. Sorry, right, now just the hell of Gas off. Might not start right up. Oh well. show people that you can do things everyone's very upset I've had probably over a hundred motorcycles in my life I've been going through them like nothing and tons of cars these motorized bikes are designed to be fun not taken too seriously and of course not last but not least ridden they're to be ridden people never ride them it's like an RC car fetish they like to build RC cars and look at them on a shelf they like to design these bikes and build them but not ride them I don't find the fun in that I just want to abuse this thing and ride it and have a good time and also the thing I, I people always say rigged right sometimes you can rig stuff and, and you can rig it properly that exhaust has been on there for a year it's tight and it's rigged on there but I thought about it when I did it and I wasn't 
spun out. It wasn't in a rush. I took my time. I just didn't want to spend any money. These heads strip out. Everything is destroyed on these. These are these are just ridiculous. These motors. But anyhow, just sticking right out of there. I was going to do a video on the JB Weld spark plug that failed. It failed because of heat. When it gets too hot, it can't handle it. So that makes sense. It's not designed for heat. And this is an air-cooled engine that gets to be like 600, 700 degrees. Probably the head temperature is insane on this. My bike, when I ride it for more than 20 minutes or uphill, I can get it so hot that it will stop running. And people with two strokes, that means it's seized. I've done that hundreds of times. My brother doesn't understand it. It's hard to believe, but I do it all the time. The motor will stop running. And then I start it up a minute later and it runs great. But anyways, that being said, the temperature is too hot for the spark plug. The spark plug is just melting. The, the JB Weld was just burning and became brittle and popped out. Because I had it just threaded in there. This spark plug is a little bit different thread. And I pushed it right in there and it's running good. I'll keep you updated and also just, you never know when this could save you. I also think that you could uh, JB Weld a spark plug into like a water-cooled car engine. Because those heads don't get nearly as hot. These are ridiculous. They're really not even thinned enough to cool the thing. And then you rev them out and run them lean. What do you expect?